If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Yeah, hi, hi, Sangram. Okay, uh, uh, Sangram, let's get started. Uh, so today uh, we will cover uh, the Prism uh, Prism mm -hmm. Analytics. Uh, so uh, actually, we had discussed uh, two days, uh, not tomorrow. Yeah. Yesterday mm -hmm. uh, on Monday. Yeah, we had discussed uh, like uh, Prism uh, Analytics overview. Uh, what is Prism and uh, uh, how how it uh, Prism works, and what are the terminologies in Prism? So, uh, have you remembered all these things? Terminologies like uh, data catalog, data set, uh, table. Correct, correct. Yeah, whatever yeah. you mentioned yeah. on Monday, right? <laughs> so uh, uh so there is there is a flow uh also we have discussed uh acquire data transform data and uh mm -hmm. publish data so uh mm -hmm. here uh let let's uh on you the same thing we is here so there are uh there are flow this this is flow data acquisition data transformation and uh we will the third step is uh, we will publish uh, the prism data source and then uh, on once the data source is published then we will uh, create uh, the report on top of that data source mm. okay uh, so uh, today I, i'll i'll share uh, when you will share my, uh, share your screen i'll i'll put the credentials on this uh, tenant so I'll, I'll give you the tenant access so we will practice okay mm. Mm -hmm. so uh for practicing we will use our initials okay i'll i'll use my uh rk and you will use yours oh. yeah okay so uh on uh monday we have talked about uh three uh two operations uh two table operations and uh today uh we will cover the table operations uh rest table operations and uh, also we will uh, create a data data set and uh, yeah let's let's uh, start it mm -hmm. first we need to search the data catalog uh, this is the central location uh, where all the data sets uh, and tables and uh, prism data sources available so uh, let me uh, put out So we have created uh, last. Uh, let's. There is a tag. Tag we have added demo. Uh, we can search uh, our uh, data sets or tables uh, by the by this tag. Uh, so as uh, when when we create the table and data set, so uh, they they'll allow us to actually set the tags so let there is uh, one one table which uh, i had uh, added the tag so if i click on view These these two columns we have uh, added, and these files are workday uh, workday delivered uh, field WPA field, and uh, these are uh, nothing but the timestamp and row ID and uh, so activities we have performed uh, we have inserted two rows uh, in it. If I click on this uh, table view, then it will show show the data, and we can uh, see only twenty k record in Prism. If we want to uh, see more uh, data, then uh, we need uh, we need to put in this uh, in this table to data set, and on that data set we have to uh, 
are published then we can see more than 20 cases but in this case we have only two rows so we can uh, see in this uh, sample records only so uh, i have some files let's let's uh, create a data source So this is um, and also we had discussed uh, uh what is prism so uh in prism uh we do uh, like we get the data work the data as well as known uh non work the data and we blend uh, both the data and we'll create the report and the report further use in the integrations and dashboards and discovery boards So these are the terminologies is here, uh, which is uh, mentioned in this PPT. Uh, data catalog, data set, table, calculated fields, uh, prism calculated fields, uh, publish. So these are the terminologies which we will use. And all the terminologies, we have uh, certain descriptions here. So, uh, so uh, we already discussed uh, this in on Monday. So. Uh, uh, you are clear on this, mm. right? Uh, do you have any doubts on this? No, definitely. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, the management, data management overview. And in this uh, data management, uh, I have actually uh, told, told you, like there are uh, acquired data and then we will transform and publish and uh, we will use uh, on the published data source, we will create a reports. Okay, these four steps uh, we we will we will do uh, while uh, while doing this uh, creation of the data sets. So this diagram is uh, showing like uh, the up upload REST API and SFTP. There are uh, three methods we can uh, we can do the ingest the data. So either it could be a file upload and REST API and SFTP. So these three ways we can uh, load or ingest the data in table or base data set. Okay. And this table uh, we have, we will use in the drive data set. So the, so uh, there are uh, two data sets, base data sets and drive data sets. So base data sets is nothing but it's a raw data where uh, first we will load the file in base data sets and base data set we will again create one data so, uh, data set and in that data set we will uh, perform certain transformation in it so it will it will be a drive data set and where we will also ingest uh, the data in base data sets from custom reports uh, from workday so this this data suppose this data is coming from external system and this is workday and we are uh, we are uh, using we are blending and blending in this step and also we are using some sort uh, transformation in it and eventually we will publish and once this is data source is published then we can create uh, discovery boards and uh, custom reports and this custom report also we can use in integrations so uh so are you are you following me sangram or any doubt you can ask mm, no no i'm following <laughs> okay so uh let's uh start it creation So, uh, so we will, uh, so for this, let me give you some, uh, 
for table uh, when we will create table uh, so uh, we will use uh, a method methodology uh, like uh, the same naming convention so let let me show you so for table tbl i'll i'll use and base data set bds drive data set dds and prism data set or published data set PDS. so these are the uh, naming convention and uh, sort forms uh, we will use in our while creating the data sets so this is for table so we will uh, suppose we have we, we have to create one table and the table uh, contains some mapping data so we will rename first we will uh, use our initials and uh, table ma mapping like uh, the table contains mapping so description of uh, table and uh, at the end this code table or bds or tds and suppose this data is coming from workday so sk workday code bds or bds okay so this this type of naming convention we will use and let's create one uh, table So uh, for creating table, we have to click on create tables. Okay. Agent mapping and keep. Take, I'll uh, keep it as a demo. Create. There are three options. Uh, so I'll uh, choose this file upload. Mm -hmm. So I have few files. So we have our agent mapping file. So it's highly loaded because of text. So these are the parsing options. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, so the file which I have loaded is comma separated. So the prism uh, automatically identifies uh, it's a comma separated. So it's selected here comma. And uh, these are the escape characters, spot characters. This we can set based on our uh, input file. This looks fine. And the passing is correct. Okay. Uh, let me click on next. So this is the uh, insert, but uh, we have not selected uh, 
we have not selected that uh, required field okay external id so we have to select uh, if we want to update the table or any uh, table operation we want to perform we have to select that checkbox let me show you so agent id i'll keep it as a user's external id if you want to change anything in it then we can uh, we can refer this uh, this is as a uh, primary key and So we cannot set. Uh, so this is showing the error. So once uh, there is a data, okay. So we cannot select that required field. So what we have to do is uh, we can, yeah. Let's select that table. And we have a truncate option. Truncate uh, will delete the data. So if I click on uh, this activity, so first there are 51 rows inserted and uh, we have uh, removed that 51 rows data. So now we don't have uh, any data. So the data is blank here. So let's uh, click on the edit. Now uh, we have selected the agent ID as a uh, uh, external id so whenever we uh, we have to change or uh, we have to perform the the data change task then we the data change task will refer this uh, agent id and uh, uh, either it could be a update operation we can perform or uh, by referring this so let's uh, change the data uh, uh, create data change task because there is no data in it I am loading uh, this one agent mapping. And inside operation, uh, I'm performing. So uh, when I selected the file, and so it automatically uh, selected that agent ID, and this is uh, required one. Uh, this is this is a external ID, and we will click one. So in the data change activities, we can check whether uh, the, the data change task which we have performed is completed or not. So agent mapping CSV I have loaded in this uh, SK agent mapping table and uh, 51 rows in it. Let's uh, perform uh, two, two more tasks, then uh, you can you can try. 
those tasks. Uh, now, on uh, So let's create one more table. So uh, I have uh, agent mapping table and also I have one file uh, which contains the all call, uh, call survey, uh, survey data. Okay, so I'm creating one table. file upload this survey data i'm uh, i want to load click on next So for this call ID, I'm using this as a external ID. So there are uh, 1746 rows uh, loaded in this uh, survey data. And there are uh, 16 fields available. And if I click on this uh, table view, so we can see the data here, uh, what was loaded. So uh, the records are more than 1000. So uh, we have to select the sample 10K rows. So it will uh, show you here. Let me... You can also, uh, when we click on edit table, you can also see uh, these data. Thank you. So, uh, Sangram, do you want to try uh, creating these both tables? We have to create two tables, okay, agent mapping and survey data. So, uh, in agent mapping, uh, we have to load uh, agent mapping uh, see, uh, file, and in survey data, we have uh, another file which we have to load. And in the further step, we will uh, use these uh, two tables in our data set. Mm -hmm. 
okay uh, so share your screen and uh, i'll put uh, the tenant uh, url in oh i do yeah, yeah. okay uh, let's uh, let me copy this here uh give me a control sir oh not allowing it open yeah let me type http s so here you can see uh, in bookmarks mm -hmm. the tenant okay mm Just, uh, uh, just play and uh, with this uh, data catalog only and uh, do not terminate or anything in the tenant. Just uh, work in this data catalog. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me release the control. And you can create, you can uh, start creating the table. So uh, you don't have the file, right? Yes, yeah, I will uh, Yeah, can you send me, how will you send me the file out? Yeah, I yeah, know, uh, I have not sent the file. Uh, so what you can do is you can download uh, from this. So uh, for uh, in this data catalog, so go back, go back, uh, cancel this and cancel this, discard. And let, let me load uh, this file in uh, data sets. Okay, and you can download from data set. Let me create one and you you will uh, you can see here okay let me create one quickly just uh yeah uh go to go to and search refresh this uh all data all data you can go on top all data and you can see the refresh button uh just refresh this uh, data catalog not 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 here uh, on your right on upper all data you can find in bold bold caps in bold caps all data all data yes and click on this refresh button and yeah agent mapping so uh, just click on this agent mapping right click right click uh, edit transformation So uh, in this, uh, so the sample, uh, so there are 51 rows. So just sample, click on this sample. Sample, uh, sample 1K, 1K rows on your right, uh, where we can see uh, the samples, not here, samples, yes. So here we can see 20K uh, samples uh, from uh, this file. Okay, so uh, as of now, we have only 51 rows. So it will also, uh, we can see these 51 rows in 1K. So it, okay, so we can download this. So click on this 51 row key, uh, 51 rows, yes, and extract. So now you have that file. Uh, so open that file. Okay, uh, so uh, this uh, second uh, second row, uh, just this is just the data type, so delete this. Then no, we don't need this. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Then uh, save it and uh, rename and uh, load, load that file.
yeah this right. and uh, observe while loading the uh, the file just observe uh, everything so you will uh, get better idea so any new line and parsing uh, we can select the options yeah okay mm -hmm. click on next yeah agent id or employee id we give bus but uh, in this uh, activity we will use agent id uh, to click on this agent id and we will use as a external external yes so uh, whenever we will uh, load uh, like uh, whenever we will update this table then it will refer this column uh, agent id okay uh, click on next just click on refresh click on refresh uh, here on your right on your right on your right uh, refresh uh, uh, radio button yes yeah so uh, in this uh, table uh, the rows are 51 and uh, loaded successfully in this table and uh, can you click on one more uh, refresh okay so on the top uh, you can see uh, total rows 51 the status is available and uh, the disk used uh, the size of this is 3.3 kb and this type of information we can see here okay and uh, uh yeah and quick action uh we can edit the schema uh we can edit the structure of this yeah click on this edit and um, yeah and click on agent id yeah uh do we have option to uh, change edit agent id uh name scroll up yeah. So either we can uh, we can add one field. Suppose uh, we we need uh, one more field, not agent ID. We can we can change that. But uh, if we want to add uh, one more field, uh, can uh, yeah in here, then we can add. And uh, suppose uh, the field name is workday ID. So just just uh, type name in the field. Yeah. Change. Uh, click on change. Yeah, no, not change uh, here. Uh, this is API name, uh, so it will automatically populate it. Just click on uh, that field one, uh, bold ones, bold ones, bold. Uh, yeah. Uh, and workday ID. Oh, oh, it's not populated because we have clicked on. Yeah, workday ID. <clears throat> the same uh, the api name is uh we can say work day ID. Yeah. and there are uh, field types we can select uh, uh field types okay under column that there should not be any uh, space underscore so maybe maybe it's fine maybe it's fine uh, uh field type Field type we can select uh, this workday ID. Either it could be text, uh, numeric, or numeric. So this type of field uh, type we have. So numeric, yeah, it's fine. Okay, click on okay. Uh, now uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down all the way, all the way. So there, there would be a next step or a saving option. Save option. Uh, on your left, on your left bottom, on your oh, left okay. bottom, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, it, it, it's saved. It's saved. 
Yeah. And click, yeah, click on next. And uh, finish. Yeah, uh, and uh, done. Already. Because I cannot see your uh, your window in below, but uh, click on that. We are done option. Yeah. So in the field now you can see there are eight fields uh, in this table. A field field column. Uh, no, not here. Fields. So uh, eight. So there are eight fields, but five are workday field and three we have or two we have loaded and we so in the later stage we identify like we need one more field so we added the schema the structure of this table and we have added one field okay now uh, we we want to uh, up, we want to update uh, this work workday id okay we want to update so uh, we will uh, create data change task Ah, but in so in source file, uh, so so there is a connection, the change connection. Yes, click on this. So we can load either we can load uh, the file, upload the file manually, uh, and uh, we can select the data set from data catalog. Data catalog is a hub where we can find the data sets and the tables, and uh, we can also upload uh, the file here from SFTP. So uh, in this activity, we will use file upload. And close this. This one is already selected. Close and uh, select that file. But in this file, uh, in this file, yeah, yeah, select this in this agent mapping, yeah, and open. Click on next. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, click on next. So this is just a source of yeah. So we have to perform uh, insert or so there are uh, five operations: truncate and insert and uh, delete, update and upsert. So uh, insert what insert will do? Insert uh, just inserted the data. Okay, and the second option to select that uh, what what was second truncate truncate means it will delete the existing data and uh, replace the Replace with the uh, insert source data. So it's our third option. Delete, delete will delete the data. Update will update. Okay, these are the tables operations, uh, which uh, uh, look which is like uh, SQL operations. And uh, update, click on uh, again the drop down. Upset, upset means uh, update. And if something is a new, suppose we have added a new row then it will uh, update as well as insert if something is missing in this uh, file okay so uh, for this um, we will uh, do update 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 will do but we don't have that column okay for the id column we don't have in the file so we will add so first let's let's try with update 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 uh, yeah update yes and a mapping uh, next so workday id select to workday id uh, in this uh, agent uh, this is it third yes not not here uh, in this uh, drop down so we don't have workday id because uh, there is no field Okay, in the so you can see uh, the uh, on the above target mm -hmm. on your right on your right on your right on your right uh, not not here target target SS agent mapping. Okay, and uh, here uh, the third column is null. Right, right. The workday ID uh, workday ID column the third column uh, agent ID employee ID and workday ID third column is null. Okay, uh, so because we have uh, edited the schema, we have edited the structure. We have not loaded the, the workday ID data. For loading this workday ID data, we have uh, selected the file, but in that file also, uh, the workday ID is not, not present in this uh, source on the below, source agent mapping CSV. Hey.
Uh, got it? So uh, before before loading, we have to add uh, this column work the ID. So uh, so cancel this, and we will again perform this task. But before this, we will add it our agent mapping CSV. Agent mapping CSV uh, in the uh, desktop. So uh, go to your desktop. And yeah, agent mapping CSV. And add one more column, work the ID. Work the ID, just add column and uh, in, yeah, work the ID. And uh, add any work the ID, uh, just sample. <laughs> just add uh, five, six, and uh, rest, rest would be null. Okay, uh, just save this and uh, perform the data change task. So uh, go to that, uh, just refresh. Data change task not uh, create yes and uh, go to that all data, all data and tables. So we can uh, so we are working on tables. So select the second option uh, table. So all the tables uh, will be appearing here. So in agent mapping, uh, just right click and uh, create data. Uh, yeah, data change. and select that file agent mapping yes. and uh, update so you can see uh work the id is automatically here Okay, in this null column, uh, the workday ID will update. Okay, click on next. Okay, update key, we have to select uh, the key which we had selected, not here. So agent ID, we have uh, marked as a required at the time of table creation, right? So this, uh, this table while updating uh, table, the agent ID uh, will be referred. So this is like a primary key we have mm -hmm. selected. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Uh, just uh, drop down, uh, just finish, uh, drop down, save and run. Save and run now. Data changes, just refresh. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, you can see agent mapping.csv2 uh, SS agent ma uh, mapping table and update operation. Okay. And uh, just click on refresh. We'll see. Also, we can see in the view, uh, just right click view. And uh, in this activity, activity tab, uh, refresh, refresh. In progress, it's still in progress.
update successfully. Yeah, update, update operation is completed. So now we have to uh, check, we have to verify. So how we will verify? We will click on that field. We will click on that fields. There are, no, not fields. There are eight fields. Eight fields. Yes. Yeah, eight fields there uh, so uh, in that now we have to uh, check the data so table view click on the table view so there are list view and table view on your right uh, small boxes the small boxes yes table view so here you can see the workday id earlier it was null and uh, when we have uh, actually yeah updated then it is now appearing so this is suppose uh, you have a requirement okay uh, you have a requirement like uh, earlier there was uh, only two fields and now customer uh, said like you need to add one more field in this table. So this is uh, so this is the use case uh, you can uh, you can refer like you can add it uh, the schema of and uh, also you can load the data by this operation. Okay. Okay, Sakara. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah okay uh, so uh, let's uh, do uh, do other operations as well uh, so we have performed insert update and uh, three more operation we will perform no data no no don't go so we have a, a go to data catalog no not here go to data cut not not here on your uh, left there is a small uh, go to data catalog not not here yes you can directly go to the data catalog okay and uh, uh, let's uh, add it. Yeah, not add it. Uh, just uh, add load, load again. Again, data change task. Right click, uh, create data change task. Now we will perform a truncate. Okay. Or well, truncate we already know. We uh, we have to uh, truncate and insert. We will perform. Okay truncate and insert so uh, for this to check whether it's a uh, uh, successful or not uh, we have to make any changes uh, in the existing file so go to your agent mapping file okay agent mapping file uh, let's uh, change something because we uh, we, we want to delete all the data okay and want to insert insert the this data because uh, so let's up uh, any changes we can let let's do any changes uh, like alpha numeric uh, this this thing employee id or maybe yeah we can we can make it alpha numeric Mm -hmm. oh, this one. yeah here here we can any any row any row because there are the, the data is a small data so we can see uh 50 51 row yeah yeah it's fine it's fine and on the top on the top as well we have we will uh, do the same on the top yes mm -hmm. okay it's fine. Uh, just save this and uh, just go back. Yeah, and uh, drop a file here. Uh, first, uh, we have to select the file which we want to uh, update in insert again. Yes. Okay, click on next. Now we have a source option. Okay. Uh, so uh, it is not ready because uh, the file is null. Uh, the employee ID is null because we have at the time of uh, creation table we have selected is it as a as a number. Mm -hmm. Okay. To uh, to achieve this to achieve the alpha numeric we have to go back to table. Okay. Go back to the table in the data catalog. Yes, and edit structure. Edit. Right click. Edit. Uh, 
so now uh, so this is currently this is numeric so uh, to achieve the alpha numeric we have to click on this yes click and change the data type if uh, we 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 can change okay uh, we cannot change the data type is it yeah when the object when the table contains data okay we uh, okay yeah so we have to uh, truncate all the data yeah so uh, just cancel this cancel this and uh, go uh, go to that uh, view option view no not view yeah view and there is an option uh, to truncate the data so uh, so this in the three dots related action so there is an option table go to the table first option and add truncate truncate means uh, it will delete all the data just click on confirm Mm -hmm. so it's done click on done done click on done radio button and now activity click on activity so all the activity which is performed on this table uh, appearing here so mm -hmm. it's a trunc truncated row truncated row 51 and uh, you can verify in the fields yeah in the fields field fields fields tab and uh, table view and as you can see there is no data right so right. now yeah so uh, now uh, click on the edit view uh, in the table uh, three dots uh, ss ss uh, ss agent mapping three dots uh, related redaction yeah table edit table edit And now uh, we have to uh, change this employee ID because we want to uh, load alphanumeric as well. So click on this. And now change the field type. So alphanumeric, there is no alphanumeric. So we will yeah, select the text one and click on next and done. Now uh, let's uh, quick access, quick actions. Uh, click on quick actions radio tab mm -hmm. and uh, create uh, data set task. Now we will uh, insert again the alpha numeric. Open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Still, uh, it is appearing as a okay. Uh, hmm. Null. Uh, but uh, we have selected as one numeric. So, uh, in in this option, loading the file. Uh, so, uh, click on this employee employee column, employee column, employee column, employee employee column, second column. So select, uh, yeah, it just changed the data type here. Yes. Okay, it is appearing as a mm -hmm. alphanumeric. So uh, just go close, close that uh, employee ID. Yes, and uh, now next, click on next. And we will insert, uh, insert because there is no data as of now. So we will insert. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Click on next. And uh, yeah, save, finish. Uh, click on this radio button. Yeah, save and run, run now. Save and run now. Second option, yeah, second yeah, option. Yeah, Just refresh. You can also cancel this activity. Just uh, click on this. Right click. Yeah, cancel option is there, but we don't want to cancel. Okay.
refresh it's loading <clears throat> refresh so it, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah go ahead go ahead Wait, I'm going to get my. Uh, I think I, the uh, Sam called me. He said that he's going to uh, configure my uh, what you call the uh, tenant access, like a separate so, tenant access that I bought. No, no, no. So, so uh, they, so basically, they want uh, the same. Uh, but uh, as you you told you told them, uh, I have configured that over screen share. Uh, Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. You can tell uh, tell them. Okay. So this is only available when you are with me, right? Like No, 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 no. Uh, you can you can access uh, like uh, you have password saved uh, 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 no. So uh, you can uh, you can use, you can practice. Okay. You so hold on, just let me check so in bookmarks if I go here, it will automatically log me in, right? Like yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, so right, can we do this? Like, let me practice. Like, if we can stop the session, do you have any more topics to cover? Because I wanted to like kind of practice and kind of tired too. So I would like practice in the morning and tomorrow we can do more. Or do you have anything more on the agenda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can, so as of now we can we have performed all the tables. So this is the main uh, main uh, agenda. So hmm. uh, table topic almost covered. Okay. Uh, so hmm. we have uh, we have already uh, seen all the five operations uh, of hmm. the table. We have truncated, uh, truncated insert hmm. and hmm. delete, and also insert update. So there are five mm -hmm. operations so which we had already covered so now mm -hmm. uh, the next step is uh, we we also have to create one table and then we will blend so this is this would be a next session we can we can talk about yeah yeah okay so we can can we do that and I, I think i remember what you showed me for the blend so before tomorrow's session i'll try to do it if not then we can we can continue tomorrow for the blending portion of the trade. yeah 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 sure uh, so uh, we will uh, so tomorrow uh, we will create uh -huh. one more table okay uh -huh. so uh, one so that's what uh, i had uh, actually showed you i have created two tables right the one is survey, right? mapping uh -huh. yeah the survey one so uh, the yeah, survey so one then we will uh -huh. use both the table in our further stages so uh, how to use those tables so i'll i'll show you tomorrow and also okay. we will create this table for from your end okay that okay, uh, okay. survey data so okay. survey, or can you uh, create the survey data set and i can download the file and create uh, yeah already, it's, it's already there it's already there uh, you can you can create that uh, go to go to your old data go to your old data yeah and uh, survey data survey data data set so I have loaded so a survey we are you survey we are you survey oh, so ba okay. yeah basically basically uh, the row base data set what I was telling uh, on on the uh, starting of session base data is like we store the raw data this is your raw mm -hmm. data like uh, this is what we get from customer this is raw data mm -hmm. so we store right. this in base data set okay mm -hmm. whether it could be a file it could be a from SFTP it could be from uh, Mm -hmm. uh, work the report so this is a uh, raw data okay and uh, the source type you can see uh, the source type when you click on view the source type is files okay files means uh, the uh, this is a manually uploaded file mm -hmm. right. okay if this is sftp the source type is sftp then this this comes from sftp mm -hmm. okay if the source type is uh, like uh, work day report then uh, the source type would be here work day report so we will mm -hmm. we will uh, we will see later stage uh, as of now though there are 11 fields in it okay mm -hmm. and uh, if you click on table view click on table view on your right table view yes and here uh, the rows rows are uh, so you cannot see the rows here uh, but uh, in this yeah click on refresh uh, you can uh, yeah, in the publishing activity, publishing activity, publishing activity. Yeah, publishing activity. Do you see? No. So this is a data set. So we cannot yeah, yeah. see the rows exactly, uh, but uh, in the yeah. table we can see the rows. 
okay 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 so the, for checking the rows we can have we, we have to uh, just click on three dots uh, we are you survey data click on three dots yes and uh, data set data set click on this data set and uh, edit transformation mm -hmm. got or uh, and edit transformation here you can see 1000 rows only because mm. uh, we have selected sample 1000k uh, 1k mm. rows so if you right. selected uh, just select uh, just select uh, 2 2k or 20k not not here uh, on that sample sample drop down on your right sample 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 a uh, sample 1k rows just click on this yes so uh, so because uh, why we are seeing 1k because we have selected 1k so uh, if we selected 20k max 20k rows we can uh, see here in this ui mm -hmm. okay so uh, 1746 rows are available in this uh, yeah uh, in this data set and you can download this And and the second uh, second row you can delete because this is refers to that data set type data type yeah but yeah let me save it and then I'll delete it mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll use this file to create the data set, and then yeah, yeah. So this is two data. So yeah, system. so this is this is I have created data set. You have to create table on this. Okay, create table. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we'll yeah. create the yeah. table. No, yeah. I'm using table. the micro strategy terminology. Sorry, so we'll create the table, and then uh -huh. uh, uh, so this this uh, this table and the first table that we created, uh, we'll create the data sets on them. Yeah, then, so we will. So there, there would be a uh, like we. So we have to create two tables. We have survey data, and mm -hmm. uh, we already created one agent mapping. Okay, and right. we will we will also get one more data source uh, like workday. So we will create mm -hmm. workday report, and we will create the data. Okay, set. got it. Got. It. Okay, so these are so the three, mapping, and then you. Yeah. yeah. So three. Uh, we will have three row data, and we will mm -hmm. blend. We will uh, play okay. uh, with these three data in further stages. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow we will start. Okay. Uh, just bring bring your doubts tomorrow. Uh, whatever okay, you have. Okay. Sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Roy. Yeah. Okay, Roy. I'll see that. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, Sangram. Bye. 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 Thanks. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.